Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to modify the textures in PCSX2. You'll need to download two things, GIMP and the latest nightly build of PCSX2. GIMP is very easy to find, you just go to the website and click download. For PCSX2 you want to go to the page and click downloads and scroll down to where it says nightly builds. Click on the latest nightly build, which for me was version 1.72991. Clicking on this will take you to their GitHub page for the download. You'll click your platform, for me that was Windows 64 bit. These builds may have some bugs, if you do find any, inform the developers to see if they can get it fixed in a later build. Once GIMP downloads you'll just go through the setup, it's very easy, I click cancel instead of install since I already have it. For PCSX2, you want to create a new folder where you can find it easily. Once you have pasted a raw file into the new folder, you can click on the application. It may go through an update, that's fine, and it shouldn't really take too long. Once you find PCSX2, you'll need to find the BIOS for PS2. I will not be sharing where to find these since it is considered piracy, but it is very easily found on Google. Once this is done, you'll just go into emulation and graphics where you can select your rendering engine. For me, it's DirectX 12 and I sent the rendering scale to 3x. Next, you want to load up your game by going to system and then start file and selecting your ISO. For me, this is Prince of Persia since that's what my channel is focused around. Your controller binding might not be set at this point, so go to settings and click controller. Select controller 1 and bind all your keys. Next you want to play until the point where you can see the texture you want to edit. I also like to save state here since it saves time later. Once you're here you can pause PCS62 by pressing space and then going into settings, emulation, graphics and go to texture replacement. Now you want to browse and make a folder where you will have all your textures for your game. Select Dump Textures. You want to play around for a little bit more and then minimize or close PCSX2. You'll find a folder you created for your textures and within this folder there should be another folder with the game's ID as the name. Within this folder there are two new folders called Dump and Replacements. The dump folder is where PCSX2 dumped all the textures and replacement is where we will be storing our mods. You'll go into dumps and open the textures you want to edit with GIMP. Once we are inside GIMP you may find your textures are sort of transparent. To fix this we go into layer, transparency and we will select threshold alpha. Then we will turn the first slider all the way down to zero. Now we can edit the textures however we like. I like to duplicate my layer in case something goes wrong. When editing the texture, make sure to not edit in the black areas in between, otherwise the textures can break and not display properly. If you are just aiming for a color change, I like to select the rectangle tool, hold shift to select multiple areas, and go into colors and colorize, which lets me pick whatever color I like. Once you have finished editing your textures, you will go into file, export as, and find the folder named replacements. This is the folder we will also be putting any mods you find online. When we load PCSX2 again, we will once again go into the texture replacement and this time we deselect dump textures and select load textures. This will load all the textures we put in replacements. That is it for the tutorial. For any of my viewers into Prince of Persia, I left a Google Drive link with all the mods I have created so far. I'll keep updating this folder with more mods to come. I left a link to our Discord server in the description. We like to talk about everything Prince of Persia, so please join. Like, subscribe and thank you for watching.